All right, this requires a little more work. We need to make a scatter plot. So they give us a bunch of points. These are actually just XY coordinates. They're ordered pairs. Okay, so for the first one, we have age of a car in years, and we have the value in thousands of dollars. Okay, so if our car is one year old, so on our x-axis, we will label all our points here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now our y-axis, let's count by, oh, let's count by twos. Okay, over here we have value in thousands, so two, four, six, trying to write small here, twelve. Okay, and we're just going to plot all these points. Okay, so take a second here and plot all of these points. Our first point is 124, so on our x-axis, okay, this is years, we're going to plot the point 124. Okay, and then we have 2, 21. We have 3, 19. We have 4, 18. So we're just plotting a bunch of ordered pairs. 5, 15. We kind of see a trend going here. We're going downhill. 6, 12, 7, 8, and 8, 7. Okay, so we plot all these points. And what it asks is, there is there a correlation here? Now, look at those points. It's kind of going downhill from left to right. So like we said before, this shows a negative correlation. Negative correlation, downhill from left to right. Okay, as the years increase, the value of the car is obviously going to decrease. That's our negative correlation.